Okay, welcome back. So this is Agri Challenge Academy. This is soil chemistry. We are dealing with soil chemistry, and today's topic is charge development and soil collapse. So how the charge is developed on the soil collapse, we will deal all those. So before going to the our regular lecture, so I want to show something. I want to discuss about something about the previous class. I mean, what we have discussed, so called clay minerals, everything we have discussed. So remember, student, this is one is to one type of kyanite clay. It is, is called the despacing, students. This is called the de this is called the despacing. So one tetrahedral sheet to another tetrahedral sheet is called despacing. It is one to two nanometers. Here it is from here to this. They show you wrongly. This is called the despacing between the two two uh, two two molecules. So it is an example for the for this is called Smith side. That is a multi molecular two is to one expanding type. There will be maximum expansion in this because of water molecules and miscellaneous cations are present here. At the same time. This is called here in vermiculite. In vermiculite, we can see some magnesium ions also in between the two layers. The D spacing is 1.5 nanometers. Uh, that means 1 to 1.5 nanometers. It is, uh, sometimes there is a water molecule also will be there. If it is accompanied with magnesium ions also, also will be. There. That's why vermiculite is partly expanding or somewhat expanding. This is this is regarding the uh, vermiculite. Coming to the illite students, illite. Please remember illite or mica mostly. Potassium ions will be there. It's a two is to one non-expanding type elite. The D spacing is around one nanometers between the two sheet or two sheets. And here it is two is to one. So two is to one is to one. There's a hydroxide. See, there will be one sheet. Extra sheet will be there. This is also non-expanding. So this is the comparison between the or different type of layers or different type of silicate clay minerals. So please remember and please remember these uh, examples: kyanite, smithsonite, vermiculite, or montmolite, or vermiculite, or uh, fine grain mica, or chlorides. So remember this, especially remember this. The potassium ions were attached directly to the bond, but there is a direct bonding between the tetrahedral sheet and the potassium ions. So please remember this. There is a one topic depending upon this small bonding. So now coming to the regular. So coming to the today's class, it's about the collapse, charge development, collapse. So overall, students in charge and concept cover. To, so what we are going to cover today is constant charges. So mostly today. We are going to cover the constant charges, constant charge, nothing but isomorphic or permanent charges, variables, variable in collides. That means case dependent charges and adsorption of cations and anions and colloidal surface. Yeah, this is what. But finally, we will discuss about this important topic called adsorption of cations. How the cations and anions are are adsorbed on the uh, on the colloidal surface. Adsorption is nothing but it's a surface phenomenon. Uh, this is regarding. So we are going to discuss about this. So. Welcome back. So today, how many charges are there? So as I said, there are two types of charges arise in the soil collapse. So one is called constant or permanent charges. Okay, students. So this was this constant permanent charge will be occurred due to the isomorphic substitution. Due to this isomorphic substitution, we can get this permanent charge or constant charge. So another charge is called depend on the variables. Mostly, this is this completely depend upon the soil solution. That is soil pH. So pH of the soil solution will be decide the variable charge or pH dependent charge. So these are two types of charges. One is one is due to this isomorphic substitution. Isomorphic substitution will be will be taken place. And another one is called pH dependent. So pH so pH will be plays a major role. So isomorphic isomorphic substitution and pH is only based on the pH. So these are the two types of charges. uh now we will see so constant charge constant charge is nothing but permanent charge so this charge is arises due to the isomorphic substitution so due to the isomorphic substitution we can see this type of charges and this charge is not car dependent upon the ph so there is no relation with the ph so how this isomorphic substitution will be taken place so natural isomorphic substitution replacement of cation by another cation of the similar size so there is a similar size should be there so replacement of the cation Cation by another cation. Most depend upon the type and abundance of cation. So the this this come this reaction is completely depend upon the type uh, availability of cation. So how many are there? based on the cations only? This isomorphic substitution will be taking place. Mostly this type of constant charge or permanent charge due to the isomorphic substitution commonly we can observe in two is to one type of clay. Only we can observe in two is to one type of clay. Coming to the next. Continuing the lecture, constant in constant charge, negative charges will be arise. So though there is a positive charge as well, well, but very first we will discuss about the negative charge. How the negative charge will be arise? So negative charge arises when the lower charged cation replaces 
higher charged cation this is also and the lower charged cation replaces higher charged cation will leads to the negative charge so it is the best example is replacement of aluminum with magnesium in octahedral sheet so the, the, the way there we can expect some negative charge the same time will be happen in reactor uh, that uh, silicon silicon also replacement of silica with aluminum we can see in the tetrahedral sheet also we can expect some negative charge so we we'll remember this one concept called replacement of lower charged cation with higher charged cation sorry when lower charged cation replaces the higher charged cation will leads to the formation of negative charge now we will we'll go somewhat in depth about this the same thing was happening here so mostly this replacement this aluminum replacement occurs in a aluminum dominated dioctahedral sheet of mid site vermiculite and chlorides mostly this replacement by magnesium is aluminum dominated mostly in dioctahedral sheets of mid site and vermiculite chlorides we can see this type of constant charges how the charges will be happening like this so see students this is three plus is aluminum it's nothing but is aluminum this is magnesium so when the magnesium was replaced here what happened here there is a three negative charge these are the oxygen this is oxygen oxygen atoms so there, there is a minus 3 but here charge is aluminum is plus 3 plus plus 3 and here is magnesium is plus 2 is a is a charge is plus 5 the same here the same thing this is oxygen ions so there are minus, there are three minus so overall students by calculating this uh, this edge edge surface we can say around minus the net charge balance is minus 1 so there is a negative charge the same thing was explained here mostly each magnesium ion that substitute the aluminum ion causes negative charge in the dioctahedral sheet this is the dioctahedral sheet so each aluminum ion has substitute for some is this this is in case happens in our uh, not octahedral sheet in the silica tetrahedral sheet, tetrahedral condition we can expect this replacement but here in this in this image i am showing octahedral so when this replacement was happen in the place of uh, aluminum we can see there is only plus 5 charges there so there is a net negative charge minus 1 is there that's why there is a development of Minus negative charge in the clay. Most of the uh, aluminium octahedral. This is the one region. This is a permanent charge, student. There is no intervention of a pH or something. Nothing. This is a permanent charge. Is that there is a replace? There is a replacement of aluminium. So this is regarding the isomorphic substitution. And same thing here. You can see students. So whenever you can see this is the dioctahedral. This is a triactahedral sheet. Here you can see the charge is zero here. Why? Because here you can see there is oxygen. All oxygens are having minus three, and all these are all magnesium. Triactahedral because of three magnesium are the triactahedral. So here you can see plus six. The same time here in oxygen we can see three oxygens are the minus three. So overall by balancing all these things, where we get we get there is a net negative charge. There is a neutral. There is no no problem here. But here here also you can see there is here also there is no problem. Then diactahedral sheet where there is two aluminiums are there. The charge is same. We we have we actually we have discussed about this in the last class. So the minus three plus six minus three here also there is no problem. But when the substitution was taken place, when the ion substitution was taken place here, what happened? This magnesium was substituted here. There is a net negative charge. There is development of one neg negative charge is developed. That's why the clay uh, the clay complex will show negative charge. But at the same time, sir, constant charges. But in coming to the positive charges, there is a chance of positive charge also. There is a chance of arising arising of positive charge. Just opposite to opposite what we have discussed in our previous class. It is nothing but students. It is a P a positive charge arises when higher charged cations replaces lower charged one. See, it's quite the opposite. Previously, it was quite re reverse. In negative charge, it is reverse. But in in positive charge, if you want to get a positive charge in a clay mineral, positive charge arises when higher charged cation replaces the lower charged one. Best example, paka opposite. When aluminium was replaces magnesium in a triactahedral sheet, we can expect this type of. This type of positive charge. Best example is common triactahedral sheets in chlorides. So common in triactahedral sheets is a very common example for everyone. And variable charges. Variable charges means what is the meaning of variable charges? It is pH dependent. So there is a it is a pH dependent. So mostly this uh, this uh, mostly they are found in mostly in one is to one type of clay minerals. But that uh, isomorphic substitution mostly we can see two is to one type of clay minerals. So mostly kyanite and humus we can see because exchange occurs on surface only. Why? Because in humus, it, why we I am saying humus means because most of the exchange reactions will occur on the surface only. Here there is a chance of both. Here also there is a both chance of arising of both positive and negative charges. This is completely depend upon the pH of the solution. Unlike isomorphic substitution, here the charge is completely arised on the 
pH of the soil solution only. It is completely depend upon the pH of the soil solution when compared with the permanent charge or isomorphic substitution or constant charge. Okay. This is the variable charge is completely pH dependent. How this variable charge is dependent, sir? Mostly this is the completely dissociation. Now, negative, how the negative charge will be arises? See students in this image, the low pH, you know, it is a H plus ion surface. There is abundance of H plus ion, so H plus ions will be will be uh, will be adhered to the, this uh, this OH minus ion. What will happen? So there is a net positive charge is there when there is a low pH. If you go to the neutral, everything was neutral, so there is a charge was neutralized. But when you go with high a high pH, what will happen? The oxygen, the hydrogen will be dissociated and will move, move away. So then we can say negative charge here. But in low pH, we can see positive charge. In high pH, we can see negative charge. I hope you are following my, my explanation here. This is completely pH dependent students. In the low pH, the so-called pH, in low pH, hydro, there is ample number of H plus ions. This is what now we, we are usually, usually we read about the acid soils. So there is a there is a chance of H plus ion. There is a more H plus ions are there. So these are the, the come and come and join with OH minus ion. There is a positive charge. But in neutral, there is no 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 chance because every all the ions were neutralized. But when it comes to the higher pH, so there is no chance of positive charges. There is no protonation. There is no dissociation. So what will happen? There is a net negative charge will be remain on the aluminium. This leads to the high in in high pH we can see the negative charge. So this, this reaction is completely depend upon the pH of the solution. This, this reaction is completely depend upon the pH. So this is completely depend on the pH. But whereas in isomorphic substitution, there is no intervene of the pH. Coming to this students, the charges in various clay. So just compare these charges, uh, just make the, this is what very important. Please remember. So characteristic, uh, charges characteristic of representative color showing compared to level of permanent that is constant and pH dependent negative charge as well as pH dependent positive charge also. So there is a pH dependent charge is there constant charges. The best example you see organic uh, organic matter students, you can say around there is a capacity of 200 charge, charge element. but in constant, uh, but, but constant charge there is only 10% chances are there. In pH dependent there is a 90% chances are there in organic conditions. And if you see chiron H, here also you can see 95% there is a pH dependent charge is there. Constant charge is very less. Only 5% chances are there. This is the difference. Same thing was happening in organic matter also. Smith side. Smith side. Please remember this table story. This based on this table only, there is a chance of getting some applied questions. In Smith side, there is a constant charge. There is a chance of 95, 95, 95 cons, 95 percent. But in pH dependent, it was five percent. Why? Can anyone can anyone answer why? Smith side is showing this much of variation between pH dependent and constant charge or isomorphic substitution. Why? Can anyone answer? Why Smith side is like this, 95 and P5? Why Kyalite is like this? Can anyone answer? Anyone? Any volunteers? Can answer anyone? Kyalite totally pH dependent charge, sir. Hmm. But here it is uh, isomorphism substitution can also occur. Where? Okay, actually I'm I'm saying many things in my in my in my lecture. In which type of clay mineral can we expect constant charge, and which type of clay mineral can we expect pH dependent charge? Whether it is two is to one or one is to one, which way? Come on, students. Though the lecture is, looks very simple, but you should you should focus the small small issues. What is the character of Smith site? Yeah. Right. Come on, students. Answer why why the Smith site is showing constant charge around 95% and pH dependent charge is 5%. And why chylonate is like this? Can anyone answer? Why chylonate is like this? Chylonate is a pH dependent charge, sir. Okay, chylonate is a pH dependent charge. Why? Reason? That is what he is saying that. That is what is in this table is there. The kyanite is a pH dependent charge. Definitely it is 95%, only pH dependent charge. 
uh, at the same time, smithsite is 95%, 95% is isomorphous substance. That's the permanent charge is there. Why? Reason? Uh, due to uh, the broken edges, I think. Mm, okay, broken edges happens where? I forgot. I said, thank you for remembering that concept. Why? Due, due, due to the broken edges, which type of charge there is chance of development? A pH dependent charge. Yes, due to the broken edges and due to the pH condition, there is a chance of pH dependent charge because there is unsatisfied charge will be unsatisfied ions will be present in the broken edges. That's why there is a chance of a pH dependent charge will be there. So here, here they here they are saying that Smith site. What is the what is the nature of Smith site? Is it two is to one or one is to one? Two is to one, one more than eight. Under no, one. No. This is what I needed. This is two is to one. This is chiral net is two is to one. Right. One is to one. One chiral net, chiral net is, one. is one is to one. Yeah, one is to one. So in very first my in very first slides, I have said two is to one is major majorly which type of charge will be present in two is to one type of claim. Isomorphism substitution. Yeah, isomorphism substitution, na? What is this? Constant charge. Yeah, permanent charge. Yeah, permanent charge or constant charge will be present in two is to one. In one is to one type of clay, there is a chance of mostly there is a chance of pH dependent charge. Mostly this pH dependent charge will be found for the broken edges and pH dependent pH of the surrounding solutions only. Due to these 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 conditions only, the pH dependent charge will be present. Whereas in constant charge or isom or permanent charge, there is a chance of isomorph due to isomorphic substitution only. There is a there is a development of positive or negative charge. So these are the various type of conditions. And please remember, this is the this is what the questions will come to your exam. If the ICR needs to twist the question paper, they will ask like this: In two is to one, which type of charge is dominated? Whether constant or pH dependent or both or none, they will be like this. The same time they will ask one is to one type. Which type of claim will be there? Which type of charge will you develop at the same time? And they may ask this type of question also. If there is a broken edges present in the particular uh, claim mineral, what type of charge there is a chance of development? So, you know, I, I'm, I, I want to say only one thing, students. You all know about this from starting from your BSc first year to final year, or some some people are MSc students also. You everyone know the concept, but how far you are applying? How far you are? How far your rational thinking is improving? That is very important. And please develop that. Uh, this is regarding these students, anyhow. But whereas in gypsite and aluminium, we can see mostly 100% pH dependent charge is there. Where in geothite, most iron is there. Present. So that is why geothite is iron, iron mineral. That's why there is a completely pH dependent charge is there. Nalopin and alopane also, there's a pH dependent. It's a alopane is non, non crystalline, which is completely 90%. There is only pH dependent charge is there. So this is regarding the, the regarding the charges of various clays. What is the condition of various clays is present in this uh, uh, presented in this in this table. So coming to the next two students, yeah, this is what I want to explain. This is a point charge student. Point charge means where the both the where the completely neutralization is taken. This is a point charge. So when the pH was so this is a surface charge, and this is a pH. So students, cation exchange capacity increases with the increasing in the soil pH. So when the pH was increasing, see when the pH was increasing from three to seven, you can see there is a net charge. When the point, zero point charge was crossed, you can see there is a cation exchange capacity was increasing from the pH. At the same time, paka opposite to the anion exchange capacity, anion exchange capacity also decreases. We will see in detail about this cation exchange capacity in coming classes and about this anion exchange capacity also. Remember this concept. Mostly when the pH was increasing. See, you can see there is a slant increasing in negative charge. Negative charge, cation exchange capacity was cation exchange capacity. That means the capacity of the soil to exchange the cations. To say very simple, anion also same thing. The capacity of exchange of anions by the soil is called anion exchange capacity. Very simple definition. So this is regarding that. The same type that the if the pH was decreasing, if you come to seven to three, what will happen? The anion cap anion exchange capacity will be increased. Mostly students say acid rich one is to one clay soils of the tropical region, positive charge are more abundant, whereas negative charge predominant in two is to one type of clays of temperate regions. Please remember this concept. Children. Acid soils, one is to one type of clay mineral of tropical region, positive charge are more abundant, whereas negative charge predominant in two is to one temperate regions. One is to one tropical region is positive charge is more. Two is to one temperate regions. You can see around which charge negative charges. So these these small small points will cost much. 
Okay, students, be strong in this very slight definitions and basic backgrounds. So this is regarding the impact of a charge and a pH. I'm coming to that adsorption of cations and anions. So we have seen many things. So I said that sir, there is a there is a two types of charges are there. One is isomorphic substitute, where there is permanent charge, constant charge, or can be just completely derived from isomorphic substitution. Another one is called a pH dependent charge, which is completely dependent upon the soil solution or broken edges of the clay mineral. So, so they depend upon these two. There is a development of positive or negative charges. Are there. we have discussed all these things at the same time, students? Due to this, there is adsorption of cation anions. Adsorption is surface phenomena. So, surface phenomena. adsorption is surface phenomena. Adsorption is uh, to be very. I know everyone knows what is adsorption. It is a surface phenomena. It is best example. Just you are licking an ice cream. Is example for your uh, adsorption. Adsorbed. The adsorption. Adsorption is nothing but just when you are uh, eating an ice cream or eating something. It is called adsorption. Just for informal way to remember informal way. Just remember like. So addition of gas ions mostly on surface. In surface only, we can see this adsorption. Yeah, addition, addition of gas ions atoms will be taken. And this phenomena may be physical or chemical. There is a, there is a two chances. Sir. There is some physical attraction. Is there some physical chemical attraction? Also? So charge it collects mostly. Our, our mostly our in chemistry. All both all our cation ions are cation is cation yeah, is which type of charge? Basics. Which type of charge? Anion is called which type of charge? Negative charge. Finally, I got one answer. Come on, yeah. Basics, these are all. Cation is positive charge. Positive charge. If you don't confuse, if you have a, to avoid confuse, cat, C A T cat, is a very big animal. It's called positive. Anion, ant. Both choti hai. So that's why it is negative. Just remember like this, okay? Anyhow, two two types of formations in the adsorption that is, and this adsorption, this adsorption in especially in collides, you can see there are two type of uh, things are happening. Two, two type of uh, phenomenon is happening. What are those? Outer sphere complex or inner sphere complex? Simply or outer or inner sphere complex. What is this outer and sphere complex? What is inner sphere complex? So we will see all those things in this in this lecture. So outer sphere complex. Generally, students in especially in soil science or in soil. Ions are usually surrounded by the water molecules. It's hydrated. You no, know? it is ions are completely hydrated in outer sphere. Best you can see this image. Here, this oxygen, the complete. This is some some other element. Sir, uh, sir, some strong strontium they kept. Sir, or you just take this. See, cobalt is there. So cobalt is surrounded. This, this is the inner sphere. This is outer sphere. So completely, this uh, this ions are completely surrounded by the water. Water means they're hydrated. So water molecule will act as a bridge between the this colloidal surface, this colloidal surface, and between the cation or ions will act as between bridge, act as a connecting bridge between the two go to the on the surface, adsorbed surface. And there will be a weak electrostatic force, students. There will be definitely there will be some weak electrostatic force will be applied between the this hydrated ions and this colloidal surface. That's why the collides will be hold together. Hence, due to this. Due to this uh, weak, weak electro electrostatic force, there is a chance of replacement. Due to this weak force, electrostatic force is very weak. That's why what will happen sometimes here we can see cobalt is there. Sometimes there there is a strontium is there. So but I think strontium is not good. So I said think this is an this is a calcium. And so sometimes there is here there is a calcium here. Sometimes it may go with the sodium. So like that due to this weak electrostatic force due to in the, in the outer outer sphere which is come this due which which is completely surrounded by the water molecule. They are this water molecule will act as a bridge between the colloidal surface and ion. So this shows the outer sphere complex. This is called the outer sphere complex. And these these uh, hydrated ions will be attracted or will be hold will hold the colloidal surface with elect weak electrostatic force. And due to this weak electrostatic force, there is a chance of replacement. Due to this weak electrostatic force, there is a replacement of ions will be taken place. Very easily, so that's why we can say there is exchangeable reactions. Everything will be happen most in our agriculture happen due to this. And what is next one, sir? Another important topic: inner sphere. So inner sphere, what is the inner sphere? Best example, students. Actually, I I will explain more about this both inner sphere. Just before that, you just just see the inner sphere. Inner sphere is best example here mica. So here in this type, you know we can't expect any water molecule. Best example is K bonding in the two is to one is to one type of clay mineral. So there is no in, in there is a potassium bonding will be there. There is a potassium ions will be there between the two lattice structure. Here, yeah, that's why I'm showing this image. 
so here you can't expect any any water molecule or any hydrated surface there is inner sphere so completely will be adhered to the colloidal surface these ions are tightly bonded directly bonded to the colloidal surface hence there is it is very difficult to replace the potassium ions so this is the complete fixation will be taking place mostly this type of inner sphere reactions we can see one is to one type of mica and micas mostly we can see this type of uh, uh, chiral type of group we can see in this type of this type of uh, inner sphere complex uh, bonding we can see in micas or in uh, chiral net we can see this is the best example see this potassium is directly bonded to the sphere but when i see here there is a water molecule is there between surrounding there is water molecule is outer sphere complex outer sphere complex there is a water molecule will be there so it is very difficult so there is a, there is a chance of weakly weakly bonded so there is a chance of replacement will be there but here there is no way because they are tightly bonded they are directly bonded to the our uh, so called uh, aluminum or silica whatever almost aluminum will be will be directly bonding will be there now let us see this is the best example student this is what i i want you to explain uh, just see the students this is the outer sphere no this is the outer sphere so what is an outer sphere you can say the calcium surrounded by surrounded by the Hydrated, surrounded by the water molecule. So there is a weak electrostatic force was present here with oxygen ions. This is the negatively charged. So this is a positive. Hydrogen ions are positively charged. They are been attached. So this is a negatively charged side. At the same time, here this is a diffused area. This is a, this is outer sphere. Outer sphere. If the, if there is a chance due to this. Uh, this is a diffusion area. This this hydrated calcium may be replaced with the magnesium also, or sometimes chloride also. So what will happen means. due to this weak weak force there is a chance of deflection the smearing of this uh, cations or some ions there is a chance due to, the, due to this outer sphere complex due to this hydrated complex there is a chance there is a chance of replacement of calcium with magnesium also now you see just now before starting the lecture i have asked one question how the phosphorus was fixed in the acid condition this is what happens when when the phosphorus when the ph was so down what will happen is this this so called phosphorus without any water molecule directly go and bond with the oxygen or directly bond with the aluminum octahedra and form the direct bonding to the aluminum octahedral sheet this is what happens so due to this there is a complete fixation will be taken place so there is a complete fixation will be taken place the availability of phosphorus is completely hindered by the uptake of phosphorus to the plants This is what the reason, student. Due to when this phosphorus will enter into the inner sphere complex, and there is no water molecule, what will happen? This phosphorus directly combined. This is the best example for agriculture point of view. The the example which I have given in previous that the potassium example that that is also a good example. But this is very quite interesting in our agriculture point of view. So when the phosphorus will enter into the inner inner sphere complex, what will happen? When there is no hydrated, what will happen? The direct direct fixation will be taken place. So only when the pH was increased. So then only there is satisfaction of the charges, and then there, there will be a release of phosphorus. There, there will be exchange will be taken place. So this is regarding the fixation. How the phosphorus was fixation, and this is this is what student. What I have explained, everything was present in the note form. Yeah, just if you are interested, you can you can just read this in a in the in, in after complete after after upload this video on YouTube, then you can. Read this. So with these students, so with this, I am ending up this lecture. with a very simple explanation lecture may looks very simple and very plain but remember students from here you can get many questions very tricky questions you may get from this uh, some of a substitution or this charge development thank you very much for listening patience see thank you very much we will meet in the next class thank you